Let's just have a quick look what we've got in here then. So what's in the what's in the boot? Got some carpet. Oh, these are into this is interior stuff, isn't it? Bit of a uh, nice bit of uh, bumper edge. Oh, it's a tool roll. That is, yeah, that is actually. That's probably that's a tool roll. It's worth saving. Steven that's Steven. a nice bumper piece, isn't it? Is that a, is that a third bumper? That's the third bumper piece. So we've got almost got three bumpers. That's, that's the, the ropey corner. Yeah. That's not much cop, is it? Is that, I always love rooting through a boot, you know. Well, you can always tell what's uh, wrong with a car with the boot. Ah, the boot floor's not actually too bad. Might have been a slight mice attack on that at some point. Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? That might is be that loose again? No, that's... Yeah, you don't need to tie them down, really, do you? They're fine, just let them rock around. Not important, is it? <laughs> right, that's... Uh... That's it. I tell you, there's also a cable on the other one that goes underneath this matting. Is there? And I don't know where it goes to, because it's just an empty plug. It didn't go to anything. Don't know. So that might be worth investigating. I don't think we've got a battery cover on the other one. We have. Car. We have got one. Yeah. We've got one. That's, is that a, that's, that's the, a boot trim. That's the boot trim that goes on there, it isn't goes it? goes on that. I have no idea what that bit does. What the hell's that do? This? Yeah. What's the top bit Disconnect. Saying? Oh, that's um, that's probably the cover for... That fuel stuff, maybe. For the fuel stuff. Disconnect battery before working on fuel pump. Oh, I know where it goes. It goes there, look. Yeah, that? that looks like it. Yeah, it looks promising, that does. Stops you getting what sits underneath the fuel pump, doesn't it? Another oil filler, filler cap. That's a bonus. Got a few of those. Some sort of bushing. Yeah. That's, have we got one of those for the other car? Tire wrench, I think there is. Not 100%. The tool roll is good. Yeah, what on earth is this? God knows what that's for. Aerial bits. Aerial, yeah, that's what it's for. That's been bodged. That's perfectly, it's factory. Yeah, that, the carpets are glued on, look, so I was right about that. Yeah, glued on. It's about learning which bits go where. It's good you not put your hand straight through the boot floor. That's quite nice. It's not as bad as you think initially, I don't think. It's, it's actually far. not, I don't think it's that bad. I'm going to have a look underneath it in a minute. Yeah, it's, it's, it might be better than initially considered. I mean, the arches are not 100% brilliant, but 80% of it's good. And 60% on the other side. 60% on the front. I have actually seen a lot ropier XJSs than this, genuinely. So what other issues have we got? The, the door doesn't open from the passenger side, does it? No, you'd have to uh, dukes of hazards through the window to get in that side, I think. More trim. Not trim for the door steps, not bad. Headlining's good. Nice headlining. It's all complete. But the loom for the uh, injectors is nicer on this car as well. The loom for the injectors? Yeah. Have a look. That's all complete. Oh, yeah. What it's are these? It's not horrible. It, it's not horrible. What about the inner um, the inner arches? Because normally they rust on the bottom part of it. You might need a torch. Yeah. Like... Can't see anything immediately. Everything looks nice and uh, lubed up. Redneck diamonds. <laughs> Redneck diamonds. We still haven't, oh, oh shit. Still haven't found Whoa. the... Um, Watch that pole thing. The chrome cornery bits. Cornery bits of the screen. So we're missing one of those. Again, the carpets are nice as well. There's a few nice bits on it. A few. I suppose what you can do with the... Why the hell does someone do this? The video, These carpets look all right. They do, they look like new. Yeah, it's the wrong right, it's the wrong colour for our other one. Yeah, I know. But they are literally brand new. They are. That looks brand new. That. That's not bad. And then there's an overmat. But it's not. It's not all bad. No. Yeah. I, I actually think this would be a nice project for somebody. Yeah, it's not all bad at all. I mean, it's, that wing's the worst aside. But the sills aren't actually all that bad. It seems like it's all in the wing. I'm going to have a look underneath. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of the, well, this is frilly round here, isn't it? But, but it's on the wing, it's not on the sill so much. Yeah, you could take the take the wing off and cut There's that. There's a bit on that corner at the front. 
But there was an extra S I went to look at that was apparently mint, and you could get your fist through here. <laughs> really? Do you know what? It, it, it's fairly solid. Yeah. That's actually, that would wire brush off and clean up. That's solid. That's not, that bit there, look. Yeah, that front. That so needs a patch here. That front of the sill's not brilliant. Hey, we got a welder. Maybe we should stick the battery on power boost for a bit. See if we can get some of the electrics yeah, we do that? working. Have you got a battery charger around here? Plenty of arts and crafts. Oh, like an old series car with the lights here. Do we have a hornage? No power yet. I've not. I've oh, not connected that new battery. Have you had a look in the glove box yet? Oh no. Probably got a mouse house in there. I'd imagine or something like that. Yeah. What's in there? A tape? Tape. What tape is it? Meatloaf, back, back out of pelt Oh, tape. that's typical. That is typical. Now, that's, it? that's not worth the asking price of this car. This, you know, it's not a deal breaker, but we will sell it with the car. Do you reckon it is actually typical as a meatloaf tape in, a, in an old XJS? It should, well, I think they all come with these as standard. Can imagine some old uh, meatloaf rocker fan in there. That's going in the cassette player at home. Yeah. God. That's why it smells so nice. What is it? Oh, an air freshener. Air freshener. Still smells good. Lovely. Yeah. Right, I'm going to connect this battery up and uh, we'll test some of the electrics. Do it on the other one. How much glass does breaking a window? I mean, it looks like he's broken about four windows in here, to be yeah. honest. Yeah, it does. It's just ridiculous. That sounds very noisy. Probably because there's no fuel in it. Go on, start it. Absolutely zero fuel in here. <laughs> that runs all right. It runs it fine, yeah. That's running on all six, isn't it? Yeah. Give it a rev. That runs pretty sweet. Probably runs fast. Nice. <laughs> um, It's a little, it's a little bit sort of like con condensed, sort of smoky, like the, like there's a bit of condensation, but it's not blue or black or anything. Oh, right. That's the wing, that's the wing working on that Yeah, side. so that's working. What about? Can you wind the window down on this side? I felt like it did something then. This one's trying. Run the car again, so there's a bit more juice going through it. <laughs> Go on, try it now. There you go. Happy days. What about the horn? Does that work? Sort of. Oh, I seem to have had a package delivered. Oh no, this. This is the package. Hmm. No windscreen wipers. Let's have a look around it. And it needs a bit of uh, bumper edge on the back. Ah. Might be a way in. See that bit, maybe. stuff in the boot. Nice inside there, bit of a clean up. Should be absolutely perfect. It's 7,000 miles, pretty low. We've got near Nothing but mould, so that's good, I guess. Dusty and mouldy, some parts. Headliner's pretty sweet. I think these are out of a metro, to be honest. Anyway, better start moving stuff around. And just 
check that's got some in yeah guess we better think about apparently it does run so it should hopefully run seems to have some battery Ooh, there we go kicked into life immediately kicked into life which is nice maybe we bought a half decent car here this seems pretty good let's have a look under the old bonnet bulge and see what's under here no sound deadening but the bonnet's nice nicely painted and this all looks to be complete which is good can't see too much missing maybe a brand new radiator a dryer and air conditioning condenser that's nice lots of brand new bits I've got this box off the driver's seat got an air filter some old bushes not much good to me but it shows the other ones have been changed on the trailing arms an oil filter by the looks of it Paper. Ooh, gearbox filter, fuel filter. Miscellaneous parts, some gasket, some hose for the washer jets. In the boot, we found some boots. I think these are the bits that go in the front wheel arches. I think this is all boot, boot trim. These go at the back of the front wheel arches. The trim that goes around the missing rear window. This all looks to be old brake hardware, I would think. I don't know what that is. Mostly old brake pins, I think. Some rubber bungs and finishing stuff. Maybe that will come up when we get there. Oh, I know what that is. That's the pin stripe that I probably won't fit. Don't think we'll bother with that. Some uh, there off my other car, actually. Belts. What else have we got in here? We've got this wiper. Sorry, aerial. And some more screws and nuts and bungs and stuff, trim clips, bits of trim clips, trim clips, bits of foam, boot light by the looks of it, or the carpet for the boot, another steering wheel, just lots of bits and bobs really. The great news is the boot floor appears to be absolutely top. There's no much of anything to speak of here. Really nice condition in here. And the buttresses, all oh, really nice. Nothing much of anything to speak of. I'm going to do a couple more videos on this hopefully, so stay tuned. We've actually got rid of the burgundy one already sold very quickly and it's being restored so that's lovely this one doesn't need quite so much work so we've taken this on ourselves thanks for watching please like and subscribe